So the Acapost track is a linear conveyance system. We have coils uh, in the segments that are uh, controlling the permanent magnets in the shuttle, very high speed, up to four meters per second. Every shuttle can be controlled individually. We can even do merge and divert onto different, uh, different uh, directions, different loops based on different processes or even parallel processes that we need to do. So a little bit different form factor, uh, but similar underlying technology. So, so we have uh, coils in the segments. We have permanent magnets in the shuttles. Again, every shuttle can be controlled individually. We have a variety of different payloads depending on the size of the shuttle we select. And every shuttle can be controlled individually. You can see we've got a few different stations here. Uh, we've got an integrated vision system that's checking the products on the shuttle. We've got a laser marking system. And we even have a weight detection uh, system as well. So based on the, uh, the magnetic force, we can actually detect the weight of the products that are on each shuttle. And we can use that for product verification, for example. So the reason why these are preferred is it really allows a much more flexible system as opposed to a conventional conveyor where all of the products, all of the processes are tied to the same speed, the same pitch. So now different processes within the manufacturing line can uh, take different amounts of time, but we can still optimize the overall system. So for example, if you have one process that's much slower, you could actually set up parallel processes for that to get a higher throughput, but then the very fast processes in your system could be one up. So then you can really optimize the system. You're not waiting, uh, you don't have different parts that are waiting for slower processes in the system. And it allows you to do even batch size one production. So for example, you can do rainbow packaging, which is kind of what we're showing here by selecting uh, based on a recipe, the different types of dice that are going on the shuttle, you could do uh, one-off rainbow packaging of products or med devices. We do have one controller uh, because we have a very integrated system. So there's one controller that's controlling the Acapost track, the 6D, all of the shuttles, and the three vision systems that we have on here. So those are not separate controllers that have to uh, communicate with each other and might have a lag between them. It's one controller. It's one communication throughout the entire system. So it's naturally very high performance, very high speed, uh, because you don't have multiple systems adding lag and adding delay and adding jitter to the system. It also means that the service and maintenance is much easier because now there's one controller that you're connecting to to get any diagnostic data or to do any updates as opposed to having to connect to multiple systems to do diagnostic and updates. So we've got three uh, cameras that are integrated into the system. We have one that's uh, checking and verifying the parts on the 6D. We're also looking for the color and placement of the product that's on the shuttle. And then we also use that when they get to the robot so the robot knows where to pick from. In addition to the camera that we have on the 6D, we're also doing verification with the weighing of the shuttle. So we can weigh the shuttle with an accuracy of about half a gram. And with that, we can verify the number of products, in this case, the dice, that are being placed on the shuttle. Similarly, on the track-based system, we have a camera where we're verifying the product, verifying the placement. And if we were to detect an erroneous product placement, we could correct that. We're also using a third camera to view a, a QR code on every one of the shuttles. So we use that to identify the placement of all of the shuttles on Buddha. Now, once the system is running, the system keeps track of every shuttle and what product is on every shuttle. But if we were to uh, power cycle the system, or let's say we started up at the beginning of a shift, we can use the cameras to identify 
what products and what shuttles are in different locations.